Out of all of the Rainmaker maps, which one would you say is your favorite? I think I do like Camp Triggerfish Rainmaker. I mean, I don't think I've played enough of the other uh, types of Rainmakers to really know for sure if I like it the absolute best, but I enjoy it. There's lots of different ways you can go about accomplishing your goal, and it's fairly balanced, I want to say. It's also kind of goofy. I just wish my allies would pick up the Rainmaker themselves more often. Feels like they wait three minutes before anyone touches it. Even though the match is only like, like last five minutes. Whatever the case, I picked up the Rainmaker and I wait for my allies to clear the way for me. But it kind of doesn't turn out that way. I almost got caught by the Octobush user right back there. I'm trying to get rid of that Splatling user right over there, but then I get stopped by this killer whale. Another one happened to on the other side right over there, but it didn't really harm me in any way. Unfortunately, my ally that was supposed to support me got splatted. So I'm left all alone trying to fend for myself and here comes the Octobrush user. Followed by the Splatling user. What was I supposed to do? There, there was no way for me to survive that. And it's all because my allies weren't supporting me. Uh, here I got kind of unlucky. Quick super jump screwed me over because if I was not using it, I would have landed the moment the killer well ended. Yeah. Anyway, all of a sudden my allies are now here, but some of them still decide to spend their time on the center row, so I don't know what's up with them. And I like these killer whales, how they're used, because uh, you can just barely avoid them, at least from my position. Anyway, I pick up the Rainmaker again, narrowly avoid getting sniped, and I do something pretty bad. Large because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Do I go to the center row where my allies were, or follow the left row where I w had no success? Whatever the case, I assume you may have seen right here, I somehow missed that Octobrush user three times in a row. So now we're in a pretty bad position. Barely get rid of the opponent right there. And I pick it up again, and here's that Octobus user who is gonna activate his Kraken. Yeah, right there. And I try to avoid it by going on this. I should have jumped or moved away a bit more, because he just caught me on the edge, you know? Whatever the case, uh, because uh, he caught me, it left us at, uh, with an even worse position than before. Uh, I had to avoid the killer whale, but the opponent didn't, so I still might have to splat them. Again, without Octobrush user, but whatever. Got splatted once again. We're still in a pretty bad position, and I still don't know what's up with my allies. They don't... They're not organized. Or we are not organized, rather. Some of them prefer going on the center row, some of them prefer going on the left row. They all seem to really just care about splatting the opponents. At the very least, one of them picked up the Rainmaker this time. They understand that uh, there was no success with me picking it up all the time. That being said, I do. I am fraught with worry when someone else picks up a Rainmaker. I'm also not all that successful uh, being aggressive here anyway. Someone's behind us. Although not that behind us. Also, I'm lagging a bit. Don't you guys hate it when uh, you see a charger fire your know, fire and their shot was clearly not aimed at your position or it was aimed at your position one second ago and yet it catches you anyway so frustrating anyway in this kind of situation this is the best move you can do because uh, you don't want the rainmaker to be in your turf you know you want it to be at the very least reset to the center but you know we have a we're in a, we have a disadvantage so we have to make something happen now. Ugh, jeez. Lag hurts. Fortunately, we can't seem to get anything done, but... Our ally managed to get the Rainmaker all the way over here. However, they were a bit too aggressive. And here, I was a complete failure. I saw the opponent trying to do their ambush, and yet I could not catch up to them. Instead, I'm the one who gets splatted. Ugh, so frustrating. So... Yeah, little jumping dance that player did right there. Uh, so 20 seconds left. We have to get something done. And here's something that 
no one should ever do when uh, they don't know how far they're supposed to go to prevent themselves from disaster. If you're going to play defensively and retreat with the Rainmaker in the last couple of seconds, make sure you don't get splatted before overtime, because otherwise, you've just given the victory to the opponents. Seriously. Ugh. This is why... Uh, I already said too much. Well, whatever, whatever the case. No retreating like that unless you know you're going to be safe and you're not going to get splatted moments before overtime. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Rotest plus rank continues very soon. Hope you've all enjoyed this video and I'll have a very nice day. Bye-bye.